Hi guys, welcome back to more of the Walking Dead final season, episode 3. We're continuing. So let's get started. <laughs> that looked funny. My bad. Ew, look at its guts. Uh, I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and... Sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. What? Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. You, our friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. Yeah, it might have something to do with the whole skin mask thing. Or the low, creepy whispering. <laughs> I guess you're right. That doesn't help. Still, they managed to see past it. Not many do. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age, in that time I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. Didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. 
he won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Don't tell me how to raise him. I'm the one who's kept him alive this long, not you. I'm trying to help you save him. It's just some advice from someone who's been there too. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Louis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us, depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... what if I can't? I don't know, I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just... Believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. <coughs> Help pull me out of this. What? Right here. Focus, Lewis. I, uh, I think that helped. Really? Yeah, pretty sure. All right. All right, I'm good now. Promise. Would you like that slap? <laughs> it's ready. Oh. oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. Ew. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Oh, that is disgusting. Just rub it in there. Uh, there. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> Kill rubber on his face. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. <laughs> you gonna do it? You're doing it.
Okay, follow my lead. doing hugs before they die. Oh wait, I can back out. I think I can do the crazy thing. You said that the guts are coming off. Of course they are. Follow me. This way. Yo, there's walkers in here. We got some swimmers. Well, of course, somebody has to grab my way. Of course, let's go! Um, hello? You okay? <coughs> I'm fine. Run! Stay close. Stay hidden. Wow, Clementine. That explains why that song was coming up. So you have to use Okay. <laughs> Stay hidden. Bam. Oh, my bad. You okay? I'm fine. Right, well, let's try not to move. Stay close. Stay hidden. Maybe we not? You're supposed to just wait until the light goes away. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming. Oh fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? Hey buddy, how you doing? Out. Ninny said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look. 
look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? It has a skull. There you go, Mitch's masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Find your friends. All right, maybe. It's still. Is this, isn't that he gonna turn? Oop. We're going upstairs. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See. He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Oh my god, her 
Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Lewis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. Wow. She don't have trust her. <sighs> Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> no, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. Come on. They're just trying to scare you. I'm afraid too, but we can't let them get into our heads. I'm not afraid. I'm realistic. Whatever you do, leave me out of it. We're not staying here that long. Hey, Louis. <laughs> hmm. Okay. He has three different options, so looks like there's a gap here small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? <sighs> We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Where'd it go? Uh-huh. 
I was standing on it. Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous. They were just doing what they needed to survive. 
One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Grinny, you... what the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking s Lewis, calm down. Just do what they say. Fuck no. Look what they did to many. Yeah, I'd rather die than become that. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Oh shit. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey yo, you better cool it or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy. Stay still. No, 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 please, come. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Oh my god! Hey, Jay! Ew! Son of a bitch! Stop! That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can! We'll throw you in the river! I will put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlon. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin, huh? I bet you'd make a great soldier. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. I'll do whatever you want. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly. Violet, what the fuck? Don't act like fuck you understand you what happened. You're gonna get us all killed. You weren't there. Uh, I'm whoops. here now, right. aren't I? Uh, fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Was that supposed to? You get them all killed. No, 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 no,
somebody out. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Wait, that's not what I. Dorian, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. I need to find AJ. I, I can uh, be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't! No! Why am I just biting everybody? <laughs> Mine. No. No. 
Hey, 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 stop! No! No! Break her neck! Oh! Look at all that blood. <laughs> oh! Deserve to die. No. Oh my god, I thought he shot James. What's it all those precious bullets? Lily, we couldn't find the other. What did you do? You were fucking dead. Shit, the bomb! AJ! We gotta know the trophy. Oh, what? What? No! <laughs> oh, let's get to music. You and 89% of the player's mercy kill avail. Okay. 49% of players only kill. Well, it was them or me, my bad. 61% <laughs> of players named the bomb, Mitch Masterpiece. 86% of players allow AJ to attack Dorian. That was crazy. He bit her ear. 53% of players told AJ to kill Lily. Alright, I think that was... No, there's more? Tan was grateful when you stood up for him against Billy. Tan was grateful when you promised to tell him never he forgave her. AJ, AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ felt defeated when you said there was no way to prove you could be together as walkers. AJ felt powerful after you told him to shoot Lily. James was understanding that you only kill the walkers you had to. Jane felt later when you said there might be more walkers. Jane was devastated that you told AJ to kill Lily, but she deserved to die. Um, Louis was touched that you wanted to hear why he was sent to Erickson. Louis was calm when you were read to his story about how he was he was sent to Erickson. Louis was thankful when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off his fingers. Lily was inspired to take action after you tried to protect your friends. Violet, when you refused to say why you let the raiders take her, Violet left in direction. Why was it my fault? I, just <laughs> I picked square, but the game's like, no. Violet did spice you after her capture. Minerva was slavery when you didn't take responsibility for urging the other kids to fight. Minerva considered herself irritable despite your assertion. Minerva felt heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. I didn't get none of the collectibles. What the hell? 
Alright guys, that was the end of episode 3. We have one more episode, which is take us back. Uh, I just don't know how this is gonna end. So... As we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye!